Moses joining the desk for our first look at sports and of course the Civic Center was pumped last night. It's been two years since the Louisville Bobcats saw postseason action. Uh, it's been too long Nerman. Uh, even in the time I've been here of course uh, the team has taken even longer to earn a playoff win. I thought it was me for a second but turned out it wasn't. <laughs> so thank you Lloyd Minster. I appreciate those Bobcats. Of course they took on the White Court Wolverines in game one of the North Division quarterfinal. Now there they are. Christopher Ty getting the start between the pipes for the Cats. And uh, just two minutes into the opening frame, Bobcats down a man early. Tanner Dunkel with some wheels, moves in all alone, goes blocker side, beating Mac Engel. And that shorthander is giving the Bobcats a 1 0 lead. Now, a few minutes later, Bobcats on the man advantage. Tyler Coons coughs up the puck at the blue line. Ryan Berlin. On the breakaway, his shot beats Ty, but cannot beat the post. Bobcats catching breaks left, right, and center. Second period, emotions running high after the whistle blows, but cooler heads would prevail. A little later, Dunkel, looking for his second of the night, gets absolutely robbed by Angle, keeping this a one-goal game. Shortly after that, Bobcats back on the power play. Eric Terrian gets knocked into Angle. Lucas Bench, nothing but net. Cats taking two Nothing lead. Ty standing strong in this one, keeping the Wolverines off the board. Minute left in the game. Five on three. The home side. Grant Baker. His shot is tipped by Taylor Mulder. Bobcats draw first blood, taking game one. Three nothing. Ty stopping all 28 shots. Special teams also playing a big part. Two goals on the power play and a shorthanded goal. No rest for the Bobcats as they're back in action tonight to tee up game two. Here's Matt Schumann. Although the Bobcats looked nervous at times in the first period, they walked out of the first 20 minutes with a 1-0 lead, courtesy of a Tanner Dunkel shorthanded goal. After that, it was smooth sailing as they added two more goals en route to a 3-0 win to draw first blood in their best of five series. I thought as we progressed and moved into that third period, we got control, showed a lot of good composure. Uh, work ethic was there, which uh, we certainly wanted to be there, but I, I just think we got to be stronger on the pucks in our own zone. First 10 minutes, we were kind of, you know, tight, tight, and, uh, you know, a little bit of nerves, and, you know, we just had to relax, and we, uh, you know, just kept it simple for the first uh, first period there and settled down, and I think we, uh, you know, the second and third, we uh, came out and played our game and came out with a win. The Bobcats scored all three goals on their special teams, two on the power play and one more with a man down. Also playing big was Christopher Ty, who stopped all 28 shots that came his way. It's a good feeling. I mean, it's a, it's a team thing. Shutout's not just me. It's everybody working hard. Guys were blocking shots, blocking lanes. They're letting me see pucks, everything. So I can't thank them enough. We talked about going into this series. We're, uh, we're really going to have to rely on our goaltending to give us that chance to to uh, win hockey games, to make those big saves when they have to, and uh, Chris got it done tonight. The Border City Bunch will now look to grab a stranglehold on this series with game two going tonight. I know they can't afford to split going back into hostile territory. We need to focus on that and focus on tomorrow and you know, be ready to come to play and you know, know that it's not over. And uh, you know, that uh, going into white court 2-0 is, is, is our goal and that's what uh, we need to come play. And, that's what we need to do. It'd be nice, and that was kind of the reason I didn't sell you with the guys there. I wanted to get off, and it's it's got to be business. It's playoff time, so. Puck drop for game two is at 7.30. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports. Elsewhere in AJHL action, the Bonneville Pontiacs look to even up their series tonight as they drop the opening game one series, 6-5 uh, in overtime to the Crusaders. The Yaks blew a 3-1 lead and then a 5-4 lead late before Andrew Traverner scored under four minutes into overtime. The Lloydminster Rohan Rage are underway in their second game of the North Sutter Cup as they face Leduc. The Rage pulled out a big 2-1 victory last night and hoping another victory should earn them a semifinal spot. Tune in to Late Night for the highlights. That is your first look at sports. Gerard is up next with weather.